Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are out on the California Delta. I've met up with my buddy Matt Leverich and we are going out to do some fishing down in the South Delta. We're exploring a part of this fishery that I've never even been to. Come along, let's go fishing. For those of you that haven't been with us for very long, Tim and I used to live in California and for a long time, for years, I called the California Delta home. But I have not been out here in quite a while. Now these far southern reaches of the South Delta, that's an area that even a lot of Delta people don't go. So I'm just out here for one day, met up with my good buddy Matt who loves fishing out here on the Delta and we're just going on an adventure. It's good to see an old friend. It's good to get out here on the Delta. I have no idea what we're in for, but when I asked him what to plan for, he said, it's the Delta. So I've got a Senko, a frog, a punch rig, and a weedless swim bait. We'll see what happens. We just jumped up on pad, made a quick run, and we're at a very unique place here. Let me stand up. Behind me, you can see water rushing over a barrier. Now we're near high tide. Later in the day, that will be an actual rock dam, but the area we want to go to is on the other side of that dam. So we are sitting here at this dock, and there's a person whose job it is to back this trailer in, total stranger, We'll drive onto their trailer. They pull up and they dump you on the other side of the rock dam. So we actually have to leave the Delta and then get back in on the other side to be able to fish the area we're going to today. <laughs> Hyacinth everywhere. You guys can see the water running in back there. <laughs> so much hyacinth. Crazy. It's not every day you hop in with a stranger and <laughs> go for a ride right out of the Delta. So here's where we came out of. Going back in on the other side. <laughs> Launch twice just to get where we're going. Like a fish in the boat. Fish in the boat. Yeah, this is fun. I like seeing new places. Hello. Little guy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we'll be all right. 
nice fish. Oh, yeah. I'm not talking about in that tree. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Matt has been schooling me for the first couple of hours. I'm finally on the board. That was a neat blow up. It was through a bunch of duckweed and hyacinth, but on a lay down tree in the water also. That was fun. <laughs> Open water. Yep, I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> it works. Thank you, friend. Wow, he choked it. Munched that thing. You guys might have noticed that the areas that we're fishing have changed throughout the day. So when we first got out here, uh, we were nearing high tide. So it was still incoming tide, the water was rising, but we were almost at the top. When that water comes in like that, it essentially floods the bank and those fish push back in that cover. So those first few bites that, well, I would say we, but really Matt got, were back in that cheese, back in that duckweed. Uh, and some of them were way, way back against the bank. Now it's flipped and it's been dropping for quite a while as we went through the day. You see all this scattered grass out in the open water out here behind me now. As that tide drops out, a lot of the dynamics change and not just with your time on the water, not just with where it's safe to run your boat, not safe to run your boat. There are some tangible things that change with how the fish are positioning. They start pulling back out of those shallow areas because it's not flooded anymore. They start gathering on those outer grass edges or inner grass edges. The last four, five, six bites we've gotten have been in open water or in a piece of cover near that open water where those fish are very clearly sitting on that inner or outer grass line. So earlier they're up under the cover, all the way up on the bank, thick matted vegetation. Now that it's dropping, we're seeing them more of them in open water or out in the hydrilla edges out away from the bank. So you don't want to lock in on a pattern and just go all day long in a fishery that has tide or anywhere where the water is fluctuating because those fish will reposition throughout the day. Fish on. They're going crazy on the inside as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, you should see them on the inside. They're going nuts. Little change in conditions, winds blowing, and the striper are busting. Ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, it looks like the little one took over. We'll find the right one. I'm gonna re-rig properly. So the dynamics have completely changed. We've had a slick, calm, beautiful day. At least we did in the morning. Now it is howling. It's blowing 20 plus. We were headed into the ramp, came around the corner, saw just a field of striper busting. Most of them seem to be juveniles, but you never know when there's gonna be a big one in the mix. So we re-geared. Matt went to an exposed hook to the Matt Allen swim bait head with a Kitek. I went to a little underspin. We'll see if we can't catch a few of these fish just to round out our day. Nice. Makes you feel really good about that law. <laughs> I don't know how they didn't eat your top water. I was just spinning that thing right on top. It seems like a better fish. It was. It's got a bunch of three or four pounds, probably. They're not shy about eating this. That bait is gone. I got a blow. How'd that land? We went from striper back to largemouth. This is fun. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. The wind is absolutely howling. It's been blowing 20 plus the last couple of hours. 
completely changed the dynamic of our day. We went from frogging in beautiful conditions to fishing subsurface, getting a lot of bites on uh, subsurface swim baits, the flashy swimmer, a square bill, and then ultimately on our way in, seeing those striper bust got us going on the underspin and then on the Kitek and a topwater. Started catching little just juvenile striper, but still a blast. And then got back into those juvenile largemouth as well and just got a ton of bites to wrap up the day. Huge thanks to Matt for being willing to bring me out here. Uh, it's always good to go fishing with friends. It was fun to go fishing out here in California again for a day. Down in the video description, I'll link all the baits we were using, the stuff I was throwing, the stuff Matt was throwing, the different frogs as the conditions were changing, as well as some of the travel gear that I was using since I'm all the way across the country from home. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.